before the crisis, uh, the, the situation regarding insolvency instruments was quite binary. Uh, out of court uh, or pre-insolvency instruments did not exist. We only have fully consensual deals. With the crisis, uh, in, and in line with the EU recommendation, uh, there were a number of amendments done by royal decree by, by the government. And, uh, and many pre-insolvency instruments uh, were introduced in, in Spain. The Spanish scheme of arrangement, which is uh, very much used in, in, in practice lately, does, uh, does not allow uh, for a cram down of the shareholders. So the shareholders are not considered as a, are not susceptible of being impaired. They are not a class, so they, keep, they are kept outside of the scope of the, of the Spanish scheme. And this, of course, grants, uh, keeps granting the equity a, a, an important uh, holdout value. Which were the, the, the problems? Not having a real uh, quick cram down proceeding, the Concordato, and uh, not having a good environment for deep financing. So we had an attempt to implement, I think successful, uh, an Italian scheme of arrangement. So we took one of our purely consensual deal, which we call Article 182 bis, and we said that, which is an agreement, a debt restructuring agreement, with uh, an expert and the court uh, saying that it's uh, able to rescue the company. And we said that that can be implemented with a 75 majority of banks uh, or financial institutions, and the dissenting minority will be bound by that agreement. This rela relates only to banks and financial institutions, so suppliers cannot be bound by that. The concept of value, waterfall and so on, are quite, uh, they are not on the table in France, same as in Italy. Because I think our uh, insolvency law was very credit unfriendly, and it's now more credit unfriendly, unfri more credit friendly at the moment. Uh, so I think now it's quite balanced. Uh, it looks like, A, uh, we can uh, uh, cram down shareholders, in, in, uh, which, is, which is completely new. I mean, now we, in a concordato, not even in insolvency, we can cram down shareholders, and they're aware of that. So basically, you can negotiate pre-insolvency, having the shareholders knowing, knowing that you may cram down them to zero in uh, an insolvency procedure. Uh, the second thing is that uh, the fact that you, in a pre-insolvency package you can cram down uh, the financial lenders is something that I don't think will be used, but it's a threat and so the, 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 the negotiation will be shorted just because the small landers know that if they don't agree, at a certain point you cram them down with 70% of the agreement. The, the problem in Spain right now with, uh, with formal insolvency proceedings and also with the scheme is that you need the equity to get a reorganization plan finally approved. This means that, uh, that the court cannot dilute the equity without the, the shareholders meeting and that uh, even if uh, a creditor-led plan is approved by the, by the creditor's meeting, the, the equity can veto that plan and bring the company into liquidation. Which is, and it's, uh, it's a bit useless to have uh, a scheme-type insolvency instrument where you can cram down, let's say, minority uh, creditors if a whole class as the equity can remain unimpaired, can hold out with relation to the reorganization plan. I think uh, what explains the southern countries being uh, debtor friendly in general is that uh, the, the, the laws confused uh, what was the protection of the business and of the workers with the protection to the company as a, as a shell. And that was the confusion. This is, you know, being um, is something that is no, no longer there. I mean, the, the laws are being adapted so as to protect business, but either winding up uh, companies, either um, uh, cramming down the equity and give access to the, you know, to, to creditors to the to the new equity, and so I, I think everything is is progressing in in the right direction. But but I do really think that in jurisdictions uh, as Spain and, and probably all over Europe, especially with with no valuation guidance and, and certainty, uh, the the shareholder cram down is now uh, in the in the front and, and center of the stage. So I think that uh, that uh, the shareholder cram down is, is a matter that has to be tackled. Uh, from the European perspective. It's difficult for me to see a French judge doing uh, a, an equity cram down of a Spanish corporation with Spanish corporate rules. So, and this can only be tackled from a European perspective. Yes, we still have a deep financing which is not super senior. So the judge cannot say that uh, you, you as deep lender, deep financing lender will be super senior to a secure one, a secure lender. 
However, it's now easier because uh, in the past you needed an expert to say that the deep financing was actually improving the recovery of the unsecured creditors, which is no longer the case. It's sufficient that it's uh, uh, urgent, uh, needed for the business, and there's no other alternative means. And I Italian lenders are considering a uh, transaction where there's a deep, there's a deep lend, financing lender asking for a contractual super seniority. In Spain, uh, we're seeing that, uh, that the traditional um, main player in insolvency proceedings, which were typically the banks, uh, have left their place in favor of the hedge banks because they're, they're being, we're seeing those huge NPLs uh, transactions in Spain. So hedge funds are, are buying in, you know, in, in, in NPLs and in secondary trades um, a lot of, of banks' positions. As for shareholder cram down, I think uh, uh, the, the, the bank is, is an important lobby in every country. Local banks might, uh, might not love you know, the, the shareholder cram down because banks are generally relationship banks and they usually also lend at the you know, top uh, part of the structure, so they give loans not only to the companies but also to shareholders, they have pledges. So they might see at first bounce that, uh, that shareholder crown down is something that, uh, uh, that um, makes them lose leverage as a point and gives it to the hedge funds. But I think uh, if you take into account that banks are generally right now in this moment, at least in Spain, not recovering themselves but selling their claims in secondary markets, uh, the banks should realize that if you incorporate that feature of, of uh, debt convertibility into equity through shareholder come down, banks, local banks, will be able to sell their claims at a much higher value than what they are able to do right now.